All right, we're live here at North Myrtle Beach High School. Wayne Central's leadoff hitter gets through on the E6. So Wayne Central does have a runner at first here to start out the top part of the first inning. Don't have the lineup yet for Wayne Central, but will shortly. Bun is fouled back, making it 0-1. For Logan High School, batting first, playing center field is Crew Blankenship. Batting second, playing shortstop is Cole Blankenship. Batting third, Ivan Miller, playing right field. Batting fourth, playing first is Rob Ball. Batting fifth is Luke Blankenship. He's on the mound. Here comes the 0 1 pitch. There's a fly ball right here to Mac, and he's underneath it for out number one. No, nice job. I am going to zoom in here momentarily. Had a glitch go on there. Uh, lost cell range for some reason. Kind of crazy. Hey, we got a fix, though. We got an F7 in the books. And one out on the board. Chase Hatfield's batting six. He's playing third base. Tanner Akers playing second base. As the runner does advance on the pass ball. Now runner at second. Your count is one and zero. Oh. Batting seventh is Tanner Akers. He's playing. Second base, batting eighth, the catcher, Gage Hensley, and batting ninth in left field is McCormick Gilderton. Just made the catch. Nice play. Sorry about that. Vivian Short is sponsoring us along with Justin Brown Agency. We'll thank you for their support. 1 0 pitch, runner at second, one out. Here's the pitch. Breaks high, 2 0. So two balls and no strikes. Top of the first inning here, playing Wayne Central High School out of New York. They're, if I had to guess, maybe about 40 miles east of Rochester, New York. That misses the outside corner. Count now 3-0. and oh. So three balls and no strikes. Lewis County, a... Double A school in West Virginia just played before, and they got a victory out of a team off of, off of a team out of New York. They look like they're going to be pretty tough this year. That Lewis County team that was in the dirt and walks him. Now Logan's got runners. At, or excuse me, Wayne Central has runners at first and second. the lineup momentarily for Wayne Central. Beautiful, cool afternoon. Game got delayed a little bit this morning. That's why we're running behind. That pitch is low and away, making it 1-0. So one ball and no strikes. On the Wayne Central batter. Luke Blanket Chips on the mound for Logan High School. And that misses outside, making it 2 0. So two balls, no strikes. Got one out here at the top of the first. Logan High School playing here at North Myrtle Beach High School. Very beautiful facilities down here. The 2 0. Swings and misses for strike one, so makes the count 2 and 1. That's in the dirt. Makes the count 3 and 1. 
It's so three balls and one strike with one out on the board here in the top of the first. Wayne Central has runners at first and second. Luke Blankenship on the mound for Logan High School. There's a swing and miss. Makes the count full at three and two. So full count now. As Luke's battling back here. The number four batter for Wayne Central here in the top of the first inning. Playing here at North Myrtle Beach High School. The full count. Strike three looking. Good pitch by Luke Blankenship. Gets out number two in the inning. Good location, good velocity for out number two. And let's put that backward K in the books. If you hear me say that, backward K means strike out looking. Forward K means swinging. But we got two outs here. strike two outs here in the top of the first inning. Wayne Central has runners at first and second. Luke Blankenship on the mound for Logan High School. The 0-1. That's high, 1-1. One one. So a 1-1 one -one count. Wayne Central batter. Here we go. That's in the dirt. Nice block by Gage Hensley. Keeping those runners at first and second. Catching is my favorite position to watch. It's a lot of, of course, Ethan caught for years. But, man, catching is so fun. Watching them block balls and keeping runners. It's just, just mentally just a lot of work back there behind the plate. Right now the count's two and one with two outs. Zoom out just a little bit. Try to keep that camera from flickering so much. That's where we're zoomed in. Here's a 2 1. That's low. Count goes 3 and 1. So three balls and one strike. We got two outs here in the top of the first inning. Wayne Central has runners at first and second. Logan trying to get that third out and allow no damage here in the top part of the first. Here's the 3-1 pitch. Ground ball. That gets through for a hit to the outfield. One runner is turning. Here's the throw, and he is safe. But a nice throw from the outfield by Miller. But they do score. And now, with runners at second and third, two outs. As Kevin comes out to talk to his players. So we've got a one nothing score here with two outs on the board. Runners at second and third. Logan needs one more out to not allow any more damage here in the top part of the first inning. As we, I'll give you a little look at the facilities here. We've got a lot of Logan fans. As you can see right here, this is the football field right up on the other side. You can see some of the stands. Beautiful football stadium. That you can actually see right... Let me get my pen in here. Here's a big board for the football team. Right, well, right there. they got a... Nice digital board for the football team. And we're ready to resume play here. Logan High School. We got 
two outs on the board here. Runners in second and third. Here's the pitch. So the run that scored was unearned. And the first pitch is 1-0. and and Here comes the second pitch from Blankenship. Misses on the outside corner, making a count 2-0. and So two balls and no strikes on Luke Blanket, or excuse me, on the Wayne Central batter. Count goes three and one. Or excuse me, three and oh. Three balls, no strikes on the sixth batter here in the top part of the first inning for Wayne Central. Logan trying to get out number three here to allow no more damage with runners at second and third. pitch that hits on the outside corner as he thought it was a ball but count is three and one and that was good location on that and I don't know batters trying to force the umpire but sometimes they can come back to haunt you on closer calls so the count right now is three and one and here's a three one pitch That misses low and walks him. So with two outs on the board, Wayne Central has bases loaded. Scores one to nothing. Logan has two outs on the board. Need one more out to get out of this jam. First pitch. Misses outside, 1-0. One ball, no strikes. That hits the outside corner for strike one, evening the count at 1-1. One we're in the top of the first inning here at North Myrtle Beach High School. Logan High School taking on Wayne Central, New York. About 40 miles east of Rochester. Logan down one to nothing. Bases loaded, but Logan does have two outs. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. Swings and misses. Makes the count one and two. So Blankenship is ahead in the count. At one and two, so Logan one strike away from getting out of this bases loaded jam. The one two pitch steps off. Didn't feel good about it. Nothing wrong with that. Get comfortable. Deliver that pitch. The one two. Outside just a little bit makes it two and two. Not a bad pitch. If you're gonna get him a chase, you want to get him a chase one low and away. But the Wayne Central batter did not bite, and now the count's even again at two and two. That's in the dirt. Nice block by Gage. But the count's full, three and two. Nowhere to put him with bases loaded. You're in the top part of the first inning. So three balls, two strikes, two outs. Runners will be going. All right, we've got bases loaded here in the top of the first for Wayne Central. We've got a full count, three and two, and then with two outs up on the pitch, runners will be going. Sometimes you can see pickoff moves here, but I don't see that happening right now. But here's a full count pitch. Gets by Gage. One run will score. 
on the wild pitch, two run score. And now runners are on the corners. Logan's down three to nothing. So on the walk, that forces a run in. And then on the wild pitch error, another runner will score. And now you have runners on the corners with the eighth batter this inning coming up to the plate. Two outs. Logan has given up two runs. Now with two outs on the board. Actually, three runs with two outs on the board. Bear down and get this one. Not a big lead right now. Strike, hits the outside corner, 0-1. He's got runners at first and third here in the top of the first. Logan now down three to nothing. Luke Blankenship on the mound for Logan High School. And here comes the 0-1. That misses on the inside corner. Makes the count 1-1. One one. one ball, one strike, two outs. Top of the first. Runners on the corners for Wayne Central. Here's a pitch. That's fouled back. Blanket ship is ahead in the count, one and two. one-two pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. All right, the top part of the first inning is in the books. Wayne Central gets one hit, but scores three runs as we're going to the bottom of the first. We will be right back. We're going to take this opportunity real quick to thank Vivian Short Photography for your support. If you need photography for pictures done, call Vivian Short. Weddings, seniors, children, pets, whatever. She is amazing. Her vision is unmatched. And I'm super proud of Vivian. She's my daughter, and she is absolutely amazing in the work she does. Also, they also uh, offer video. So check out Vivian Short Photography. And we will be right back. All right, we're ready to start the bottom of the first inning. Leading off from high school, number three, Crew Blankenship. Lays the bunt down over to first, 
and in time for out number one. So he does get out number one. Bunt didn't make it down any of the baselines, went straight at the pitcher. But out number one on the one three. And now that brings up for Logan High School, Cole Blankenship. First pitch strike. Hold one. No balls, one strike on Cole Blankenship. There's a rip for a hit. You can see it right here. And Cole is going for two. And on a stand-up double. By Cole Blankenship. Sorry about the camera work. As I'm zoomed in a little bit out here. As you can see, he hit it right here. Tried to zoom in on it. But either way, Logan's got a runner in scoring position with one out on the board. And now that brings up for Logan High School, Ivan Miller. As you can take a look at Cole here at second. Counts 1-0. Oh. Nice hit by Cole Blankenship. Got a double. Here's the second pitch to Miller. And that hits on the inside corner, making the count 1-1. One so one ball, one strike, one out. Here in the bottom of the first, Logan is threatening with a runner at second. There's a rip right at the third baseman, and he makes a good play. As you could see, he hit it straight at him, and he made a catch for out number two. That definitely would have scored Cole if he'd have got by him. That was a he turned on that one pretty good, but. Just a line drive to the third baseman, gives out number two. And now Rob Ball, the first baseman, comes up to the plate. First pitch inside, ball one. It's a one and oh. Logan still with the runner at second with two outs here in the bottom of the first. Rob hits one deep to right and he misses it so Rob almost knocks one out of here and gets himself an RBI Logan makes it three to one didn't hit his glove we'll see how they'll roll it but man, I'm not official so I'll roll it a hit who cares <laughs> nice Nice hit by Rob Ball. Now he's a second, and Logan's got one on the board. Now Luke Blankenship comes up for Logan High School. Trying to help himself here. Misses on the outside corner, 1-0. So one ball, no strikes on Luke Blankenship as Rob Ball got a hold of one, and the wind was blowing in. That could have probably went out of here, but wind wasn't blowing. As Blankenship fouls one down the line, making a count one and one. But Logan able to get a run here on the board so far with two outs. So Logan's got Rob Ball at second. So he's still there. We'll give you a little look. There he is. That's in there for strike two. So it counts one and two. You see Ball at second. Luke Blankenship at the plate. Here's the one-two pitch. Rips it down the third baseline foul. Count stays one and two. I'm going to try to zoom in just a little bit. I will try my best to learn to do this camera work. I need to hire me a camera guy. A cameraman. Because it is hard to announce, book, and do camera, but here's the pitch. Misses outside as he tells him to hold up. Two and two now. The count's even. Look for it here, Luke. Two and two. Runner at second. Two outs on the board. Outside, full count. Good eye. All right, we got a full count now with two outs on the board. Don't have to move at second because it is not a force yet. 
got to be looking to move here. Here's a pitch. Foul to back out of play. Count stays full at three and two. Full count pitch with two outs. Here's a pitch. Rips that one back foul. Stays full. Three and two. Logan able to get a run on, or excuse me, a run in here in the top, bottom part of the first inning. Logan threatening again with Rob Ball at second. And blanket ship at the plate. Full count. Two outs. Here's the pitch. Swings and misses strike three. So Logan able to get a couple hits on the board. Gets a run to cut into the lead. We're going to the top of the second inning here at North Myrtle Beach High School. Beautiful facilities. As Logan's taking on Wayne Central from New York. They are about 30, 40 miles probably east of Rochester. And we do want to thank our sponsor. One of our sponsors, Justin Brown Agency in Madison, West Virginia. Call 304-369-1158 and talk to Hannah Hensley or Lou Green, your local agent supporting local youth athletes. We really appreciate your support. Also, we want to give a shout out to Mountain Dreams Media as they're going to be doing a lot of the home games for Logan High School. For those that can't make it, but if you can make it, definitely attend. It helps the sports, the youth. Also, I want to give a shout out to West Logan Church. Uh, if you've got a Sunday free and you want to come to a church, you're looking for a church, come to West Logan. We have two services to choose from at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. We'd love to have you there. All around ministries, children, youth, young adults, life groups to choose from. We'd love to see you. Pastor Scotty Dingus and Kristen Dingus would love to welcome you. It is starting to warm up here a little bit in the north. More still kind of cool, but not bad. But it's just a beautiful day. You can see. Just take a look. Look at the sky over the school. Definitely a beautiful day. God is so amazing in his creation and how it works. Look at that sky. Look how beautiful. Can you imagine how beautiful heaven is? They're throwing down, but we'll just take another look around here. North Myrtle Beach High School. As we're getting ready to start here. Here in the top part of the second inning. Blankenship still on the mound for Logan High School. Up to bat for Wayne Central is Aiden Twist, the nine hole hitter. So 9 1 2 up for Wayne Central, his first pitch. That hits the outside corner, 0 and 1. Nice pitch. Here comes the 0 1 pitch from Blankenship. Fouls that one back. Blankenship is ahead in the count, 0 and 2. The 0-2 pitch, fouled back, stays 0 and 2. The 0-2 from Blankenship. Just misses the outside corner, making it 1-2. and two. The 1-2. Fouls it back, stays alive at 1-2 and two still.
Ground ball fielded nicely by Cole Blankenship over to first for out number one. So one out on the boards on a nice 4-3 play by Cole Blankenship. That brings, off, brings up the leadoff hitter for Wayne Central, Michael Prentice. First pitch, ball one. Fouls that one off, evening the count of one and one. Prentice reached on an error his last time up, scored a run. One out on the board here in the top part of the second inning. Hits very nicely, making a count one and two. So one ball, two strikes, one out. Here in the top part of the second inning, the leadoff hitter, Michael Prentice, is up for Wayne Central. And here's the one-two. That's a rip right down, stopped by Akers. It was a good stop by Akers, but couldn't get up in time to make the play. It was a rough just a rough all-around play as that's a hit in the books. So now with one out, Wayne Central has a runner at first. Peter Treasure up to bat for Wayne Central with one out. Part of the second inning, one out on the board, runner at first. Here's the pitch. Runner goes, here's the throw. And he's able to get in there at second base. So on the stolen base, Wayne Central has a runner at second with one out on the board. And the pitch was a strike, so the count's 0-1. Just misses a little high, making the count one and one. So one ball, one strike, one out. Peter Treasure at the plate for Wayne Central. Not really sure what the umpire was doing, but he was saying something. The one one. Ground ball gets through as Ilderton gets it in quickly. As Hatfield tried to make the stop. But now runners are on the corners with one out at first and third. One out on the board, runners at first and third. Now to bat four, Wayne Central's Tyler Mudge. He walked his last time up. What did you do? It might be. Yeah, it's coming out of my, back, my wallet, dude. <laughs> I'm just blowing money all over the place up here. $21 just rolled down the deck here. Not really sure what's going on. The umpire is talking to someone. I don't know if they're 
I'm too far away to see what's going on. Umpire's walking over to the Wayne Central dugout. Not really for sure what's going on. As Gage calls him in. We got one out on the board. Runners at first and third. Tyler Mudge up to the plate for Wayne Central who walked his last time up and scored a run. Logan down three to one here. Needs to get something going here. To get an out on the board, get that second out on the board. First pitch, swings and misses. Makes it 0 and 1. So no balls in one strike. As now the batter steps up to the plate. 0-1 oh, count, runners on the corners with one out. The 0-1. Oh, Misses on the inside corner, even in the count at 1-1. One and one. one ball, one strike, one out here in the top part of the second inning. Luke Blankenship on the mound for Logan. Here's the pitch. Curveball waits on it as they're running for it toward foul territory, and it will land foul on a nice effort by Tanner Akers from second base, but just couldn't get there. That one's just hit way too far out of the way, but the count is one and two. So one ball, two strikes. <laughs> One out. Throws over to first. Gets by ball on the low throw over. And now he's going three, and there's going to be a play here. And he is out. Nice job by Rob Ball to recover quickly as the runner tries to extend it to third and is thrown out by Rob Ball for out number two. So now the count's one and two with two outs on the board. Logan one strike away from getting out of this jam here in the top part of the second inning now. One run does score though, four to one. The runner at third does score but the runner at first tried to extend to third and got throw out. Ground ball gets by Cole Blankenship into the outfield for an E6. So Tyler Mudge makes it on the air. And two outs are on the board. And that brings up Jared Dyer, who struck out looking his last time up. Defensively, Logan's needs to tighten it up a little bit all around. There's a deep fly ball, high pop up toward third, maybe out of play, and it is for strike number one. So one out is on the board. You do have a runner at first. I apologize. Runner at first. 0-1 count, two outs on the board. Logan has given up four runs on two outs in each inning altogether. Luke Blankenship on the mound for Logan High School. Here's the 0-1. Runner goes. Here's the throw. And now the runner is safe at second. As the count is one and one. So one ball, one strike, two outs. Top of the second. Here's the one one.
That hits on the outside corner. Nice pitch by Blankenship to take the count one and two. So one ball, two strikes, two outs here in the top part of the second inning. Nice afternoon, cool 61 degrees, sunny. A little cloudy, but still, sun's still out. Misses on the inside corner, evening the count at two and two. So two balls, two strikes, two outs. Logan down four to one here against Wayne Central. The two, two, two. That's high, full count. The board says three and one, but it should be a full count. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. We'll see what the umpire says. He says something. I can't see it that far away, but I think it is a full count. Yes, it is a full count. Here's the pitch. Misses high, walks him. Central has runners at first and second here in the top part of the second inning with two outs. And now up to bat is Michael Grasso, the five-hole hitter who singled and had an RBI his last time up. So runners at first and second, two outs. Grasso up to the plate. Here's the pitch. Misses the outside corner, making it 1 0. So one ball, no strikes. Luke blanket chip on the mound for Logan High School. The 1 0. Misses low and away. So two balls and no strikes. The 2-0 pitch. Misses low. That count goes now to 3-0. Four runs have been scored with two outs on the board. Three in the first, now one here in the top of the second. And two outs are on the board, runners at first and second. Here's the 3 0. Swings it, misses it, or excuse me, chips it foul. Count now three and one. Three balls. I don't know if he's saying two and two or three and one. I got three and one. That hits the outside court. No, that struck him out. So it was two and two. So Logan gives up one here in the top of the second. The score is four to one. We're going to the bottom of the second inning. Logan High School. Trying to get some bats going here as Hatfield, Akers, and Hensley is going to lead us off here at the bottom of the second. You're watching Logan High School Baseball brought to you by Justin Brown Agency, Vivian Short Photography, West Logan Church. Thank you guys so much for your support. Let's see the sights and sounds of the field here. Back here is very beautiful. Let's zoom back out a little bit. You can see this here at North Myrtle Beach High School. Got some Logan fans here back here with me watching. There's the batting cages. As you can see, the Logan fans sitting over there. Football field in behind. Beautiful blue sky. Logan fans all around and behind home plate. And North Myrtle Beach High School is right there in the brick building. 
behind us is the softball fields, and we'll give a shout out to the Logan High School Lady Softball Wildcats. 3-0 and down here. They won again today. So we're super excited about the Lady Wildcats down here performing really well. And I think theirs is called the Grand Strand Classic, I believe. I could be wrong. As we're about ready to start. The bottom of the second inning here at North Myrtle Beach High School. Logan High School taking on Wayne Central, New York. And coming up to the plate for Logan High School is number six, Chase Hatfield. Steps up Chase Hatfield, third baseman today. Ready to start us off here in the bottom of the second. Let's get it going. That misses 1-0. and oh. So one ball, no strikes on Hatfield. Here in the bottom of the second inning. We're trying to block some of the wind off this mic. There's a foul ball back behind the Wayne Central dugout. Takes the count to 1-1. One and one. Logan High School will be playing tomorrow as well. Here's the 1-1. One, one. That misses high, 2-1. and one. So Hatfield is ahead in the count, 2-1. and one. Swings and misses, makes it 2-2. Two and two. So two balls, two strikes. Here in the bottom of the second. Swings and misses, strike three. So we got one out in the books. Here in the bottom of the second inning. Coming up to bat is the seven hole hitter, the second baseman, Tanner Akers. As Akers steps in for Logan High School. That misses outside. Counts 1-0, and so one ball, no strikes. On Tanner Akers. That's high, 2-0. Need base runners. Probably won't swing here until I get at least a strike. Here's a 2-0 pitch. And the take was on. The count is 3-0. and I'm taking all the way right here. Need base runners. I know Tanner's a good hitter, but... You got a 3-0 count, you got to take it here. As Logan is going to the bullpen. Looks like Chase Hatfield is going to the bullpen. As that one's in there for strike one. So now the count's three and one. Now you're ready, Tanner. 3-1 pitch. That hits him. So Logan gets a base runner with one out on the board on the hit by pitch. And that brings up Gage Hensley for Logan High School, the catcher. So one out here in the bottom of the second. Tanner Akers at first base. Take a look at Tanner over there. You can see him right there at first base. Gage Hensley at the plate for Logan High School. Here comes the first pitch to Gage. That's high, 1-0. Down four to one here in the bottom of the second. A lot of baseball left to play here. Let's start scrapping up here. Start getting some hits and base runners. That hits the outside corner. One and one. One ball, one strike on Hensley. One out. Here's the pitch. That misses. Counts two and one. Two balls, one strike, one out. Runner at first. Held off on it, but I believe it was a foul ball. I think it hit, maybe he hit the knob of the bat. Or hit maybe at the lower end of the bat, but it's two and two. So two balls and two strikes with one out on the board here in the bottom of the second. Logan. That's Tanner Akers at first. Gage Hensley at the plate. The 
the 2-2. It's in the dirt, full count now. So three balls, two strikes on Gage Hensley. Tanner Akers is at first. We've got one out on the board. Logan down four to one. Like to see another base runner here. Here comes the full count pitch. Stays alive. Hits it down the third baseline foul. Still three and two. Full count pitch, one out. Runner at first here in the bottom of the second. Attempts the pickoff, but Akers is safe at first. Full count pitch to Hensley. Misses outside, walks him. So with one out on the board, the tying run comes to the plate in McCormick Elderton. So now Logan has runners at first and second as the nine hole hitter Elderton comes to the plate with one out on the board. So Logan starting to get something going here as Elderton settles in. Akers is going and he's safe. Counts 1 and 0. Oh. So on the double steal, runners are at second and third. So Logan has two runners now in scoring position at second and third. 1 0 oh count. Ilderton at the plate. Here's the pitch. Bunt is laid down. Over to first. Rode toward more of the pitcher, and there was no runs able to score. Now out two is on the board on the one three. Now we're back up to the top of the lineup here with Crew Blankenship for Logan High School. Logan has runners at second and third here in the bottom of the second with two outs on the board. Crew Blankenship at the plate for Logan. Here's the pitch. He turns on one. That might drop. Nice play. Yes, he dropped it. Now two runs are going to score for Logan High School. Put it in play. Good things will happen for somebody. And now with two outs on the board, Logan makes this game four to three. That was trouble as it kind of died with the wind as it was hit towards center field. But Crew Blankenship putting the ball in play and now got two RBIs. And now Logan has made this game four to three here in the bottom of the second inning. And that should be ruled a hit in the book. That's not a normal play. And that hits him. So now Logan has a runner's, excuse me, has a runner at first and second. I'm trying to get caught up here. So on the hit by pitch, Logan now with runners at first and second. As you got brothers right there the bases. Ivan Miller hits it towards short, fielded cleanly over to first for out number three. But Logan able to get two runs here in the bottom of the second. We are going to the top of the third. Two innings are in the books here at North Myrtle Beach High School. Logan High School taking on Wayne Central. Logan has closed the gap. It's four to three as we head to the third. We'll be right back.
All right, Logan High School has a new pitcher, Chase Hatfield. Is in the lineup now behind on the mound. Coming up for Wayne Central here in the third, you have the six, seven, eight hitters, Lezik, Clark, and Jones. And it seems that ball is still at first. You have Jace Wolf now in at third base. So Jace Wolf is in at third base. As we're ready to start the third inning. Chase Hatfield on the mound for Logan High School. Ground ball fielded by Wolf very cleanly over to first. Nice play. 5-3 in the books. And one out. So Wolf comes in on to the game, playing third base, getting some action right off the bat. One pitch, one out. Kalen Clark, who walked his last time up, up to bat. Fly ball pop up. It looked like it was coming this way. That was so wild. The ball looked like it was coming to the outfield, but it actually went behind home base there for strike number one. So the count's 0-1 with one out on the board. Logan has tightened this ball game up in the top part of the second inning, scoring two runs on a hit by Crew Blankenship, making the game 4-3. to three. So the Blankenship brothers each got hits. Cole's got a double. Nice pitch, but a little high and inside. Makes it count 1-1. One one. One pitch, swings and misses, makes it one and two. So one ball, two strikes on Clark, who is at the plate for Wayne Central. Chase Hatfield on the mound for Logan High School. One ball, two strikes. Here's the one, two pitch. Little blooper foul. Count stays one and two. One ball, two strikes, one out here in the, excuse me, we're in the top part of the third. Foul ball stays one and two. So we are in the top part of the third. The count is one and two. One out on the board. Nobody on. Logan has tightened the game up here to make it a 4-3 ball game. As Crew Blankenship gets a two RBI single to, to make this a closer game. As Logan with one out on the board. And here's the one-two pitch to Clark. Ooh, ooh, just missed. Even in the count at two and two. So two balls and two strikes. As we are celebrating our ninth year of streaming Logan High School away games. Here's a pitch outside, full count now. I guess you can call me that OG original streamer. Started way back when, before Ethan even... Went into high school. Has been PA announcer now for about eight, nine years for Logan High School. Here's the 3 2. Hits the outside corner for strike three looking. Nice pitch by Chase Hatfield for out number two. Top of the third inning now, two outs on the board. That brings up Corey Jones, who struck out his last time up. As Hatfield delivers a nice pitch for out number two. First pitch to Jones. A little low. 1-0. Oh. 
yeah, we've been streaming since, I think, 2016 on Facebook. I didn't have the app and stuff back then. The 1-0. That hits the outside corner for 1-1. One one. So even in the count up. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Check him. And he did go. Counts 1 and 2. All right, we're one strike away from getting to the bottom of the third here. One ball, two strikes, two outs here in the top part of the third inning. Logan down 4-3. to three. Here's the 1-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Chase Hatfield with a nice pitch. Three up, three down for Logan High School. Two strikeouts by Hatfield. We're going to the bottom of the third inning. Logan High School. Down four to three. But look like they're coming alive a little bit here at North Myrtle Beach High School. Give a shout out to Justin Brown Agency. Thank you for your support. As they support all local athletes. Give Hannah Hensley or Lou Green a call at the Justin Brown Agency. They'll give you a quote on some insurance, whatever you need. All right. We're going to the bottom of the third. Coming up for Logan High School will be Rob Ball, Luke Blankenship, and Chase Hatfield. Now, they did put Jace Wolf in at third. So they may place him somewhere. Gage and McCormick were still in there. Let's see here. I see Rob Ball. I see Chase Hatfield. And I can't see who the other batter is. Yes, Jace Wolf. Probably have Ball, Wolf, and Hatfield up. Here in the bottom part. of the third inning as Rob Ball comes to the plate for Logan High School. That misses inside, 1-0. So one ball, no strikes on Rob Ball. I got Rob down for a hit his first time up in an RBI. That misses outside as the count now is 2-0 on Rob Ball. Rob hit a a shot in the first inning that would have been out of here if the wind was not blowing in. Fouls that one back out of play. Count as two and one. Two balls, one strike on Rob Ball. Here's a two one pitch. That misses. Count goes three and one. Need base runners. Tie and run is at the plate right now. 3-1 pitch. This is a shot, but the wind is killing it. It's right at the wall and caught. Couldn't see it. I apologize. But Rob Ball again robbed by the wind as he literally caught that on the warning track. You could see that ball dying. But a hit by Rob Ball to the outfield is caught for out number one on the F7. Deep fly ball on that one. As that brings up Jace Wolf for Logan High School. Sorry about the camera work. Didn't have time to adjust or anything, but Rob hit that right toward us. I thought it was out of here, but the wind did not help us any at all. As this count now is one and one, and one out on the board. So Rob has been robbed twice by the wind today. Here's the one-one to Wolf. That's outside two and one. 
and in the dirt. So two balls, one strike on Jace Wolf. Played the other day, got himself a hit. Here in the third inning, inserted into the lineup at the third baseman. There's a little, there's a hit, and that's going to sail to the center fielder. I'm sorry. But a nice cut, but two outs now on the board. Logan giving these outfielders some work. Two outs now on the board, and coming up is Chase Hatfield. So an F7 and an F8 here in the bottom of the third. Now Hatfield comes to the plate for Logan High School. And it's 0-1, so no balls, one strike. Two outs, bottom of the third. A lot of baseball left. Logan down 4-3. There's another rip. Center fielder falls and still catches it. I don't know if you all seen that or not. That's the camera. I got to get me a camera guy for out number three. The center fielder is tough. He slipped and fell and still caught it. But the wind is not cooperating with Logan High School. That's three up, three down. Comes up on F7, F8, F8. As we're going to the top of the fourth, we do have... Three innings in the books here in North Myrtle Beach High School. As Logan's down four to three, coming up for Wayne Central is nine one two, and we'll be right back. All right, we're ready to start the fourth inning here at North Myrtle Beach High School. Logan down four to three. Nine hole hitter Aiden Twist coming up to bat for Wayne Central. First pitch fouled off, 0 and 1. Twist grounded out to second his last time up. So the third inning went really quick. Three up, three down for Wayne Central, and three up, three down for Logan. Now we enter this top part of the fourth inning. Tight ball game. Chase Hatfield on the mound for Logan High School. He come on in relief of Luke Blankenship. There's one fouled off. Well, Rob Ball missed it on a good effort. I'm trying to get him out. But the count's 0-2. Counts 0-2 on Aiden Twist. And here comes the 0-2 pitch from Hatfield. Misses inside. Nice location, 1-2, and two. nothing wrong with that. On an 0-2 pitch, keep him honest, 1-2. and two. The 1-2 pitch. Inside again, evening the count at two and two. So two balls, two strikes. On the leadoff hitter here in the fourth inning, the nine hole hitter, Aiden Twist.
right at Mack for out as Mack Cormick Ilderton gets the catch for out number one on a line drive out here to left field. Sorry about the camera work, guys. The best I can do right now. One out on the board. The leadoff hitter coming up for Wayne Central. Michael Prentice, who's one for one on the day. Two runs scored. A walk and a single. And that pitch is a little high. 1-0. One ball, no strikes, one out. Top part of the fourth inning. Wayne Central to the top of their lineup. That's outside. Count goes 2-0. Oh. So two balls and no strikes. On Michael Prentice. Chase Hatfield on the mound for Logan High School. Ready to deliver the 2-0 -oh pitch. That's in there for strike one. So it counts two and one now with one out on the board. We'll try to give you all some better camera work. Where I'm at, it's kind of rough. Two one pitch. That's in the dirt. Nobody's on as the ball gets by him, but counts three and one. So three balls, one strike, one out. Here in the top part of the fourth inning, Logan down four to three. The three one. Ground ball fielded by Akers over to first, misses. Akers able to get underneath it, but on the throw, ball not able to scoop it. So you're probably going to look at an E4, maybe on that. Maybe an E3, definite error, though. As now with one out on the board, Prentice is on. Now coming up to the plate is Peter Treasure, who has flew out to left and has a single. So one for two on the day. And here comes the pitch from Hatfield. Runners going. <laughs> and he is safe at second. So now the runner is in scoring position here at second base with one out. Peter Treasure at the plate. Count is 0 and 1. No balls, one strike as the wind begins to pick up again here at the field. And it's blowing out this time. The 0 1. In the dirt, 1 and 1. Runner stays put. But the count is even at one ball, one strike. I guess they got mixed up on the signals as Hatfield and Hensley will meet on the mound to make sure they got their signal straight. One ball, one strike, one out. Here in the top part of the fourth inning, Wayne Central with the runner is second. At the plate is the two-hole hitter, Peter Treasure. Hatfield ready to deliver now. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Nice pitch, one and two. As that hits on the inside corner. Batter was thinking outside, but pitch came inside and hit the inside corner, making it one and two. The one-two from Hatfield. 
Misses outside, two and two. Not a bad location on that. You never know, you might chase it. So two balls, two strikes. Got one out on the board, runner at second here in the top part of the fourth inning. Logan down four to three against Wayne Central. Here's a two-two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Nice breaking ball by Chase Hatfield. Puts the second out on the board. Now Logan one out away from getting out of this top part of the fourth. Tyler Mudge at the plate. He's walked and reached on an error, and they're going to intentional walk him to create the force out. So now Logan will face Jared Dyer. Who struck out looking and walked. So runners at first and second. Two outs here in the top part of the fourth inning. Pickoff move goes into the outfield, but no one will advance as Crew gets it back into Cole. So on the pickoff move, no damage done. As the count is 0-0 on the board, but two outs on the board. Wayne Central with runners at first and second on the intentional walk by Logan. First pitch, swings and misses on a nice breaking ball, makes it 0-1 on Jared Dyer. Here's the 0-1 pitch. That is a fair ball. No, nope, calls it foul. I apologize. Thought it was going to be fair. Didn't hear the up come out. Yelling foul on the tip to, off the end of the bat. Rolls a little bit, but does not. He said it comes off home plate, so the count's 0-2. So Hatfield's way ahead in the count, 0-2, and two outs on the board here in the top part of the fourth inning. Runners at first and second, two outs on the board. 0-2 count. Here's the pitch. Just misses outside. Nice location, one and two. But the batter did not take the bait. As now the count goes to one and two. Hatfield on the mound for Logan High School. Here's the one two pitch. Misses outside again, two and two. Counts even now at two balls, two strikes. Logan with two outs on the board here in the top part of the fourth inning. Runners are at first and second. At the plate for Wayne Central is Jared Dyer. On the mound for Logan High School, Chase Hatfield. Hatfield come on in relief of Luke Blankenship. And here comes the 2-2 pitch. Ground ball, Jace Wolf fields. Very nicely to third and touches it for out number three. So Jace Wolf coming in at third base, looking pretty good. Two defensive plays, solid. We are going to the bottom of the fourth. No damage done there in that top part of the third. So on the ground ball to third, Logan gets that third out. And we're heading to the bottom of the fourth. Coming up for Logan High School here in the bottom of the fourth is 7-8-9. Akers, Hensley, and Ilterton. Beautiful day here at North Myrtle Beach. As you can see, the sky and the distance just beautiful. Nice and cool. 61 degrees. Not too hot. Not too cold. Just a perfect day for baseball. If you're tuning in, we want to thank you for watching Unlimited with Matt Carter. 
we got a lot to, we got a lot we're planning for this over you know I've been streaming now for nine years most of it on Facebook and then five years ago we started doing some of the YouTube streaming and uh, I was going to start something good for the community under unlimited and we're going to look at doing that here in the near future as they throw down as we're going to start the bottom part of the fourth inning Akers, Hensley, and Ilderton coming up. Akers, his last time up, was hit by a pitch and scored a run. 4-3 ball game here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Logan needs to get runners on. As Tanner Akers steps to the plate for Logan High School. First pitch strike, 0-1. Ground ball hit down the third base line. This is trouble. Here's the throw. Safe. Akers able to beat it out. Nice job by Tanner Akers. The leadoff hitter gets a single. And we got a base runner. Tied run is on. Here in the top, or excuse me, the bottom part of the fourth inning. Now that's going to bring up Gage Hensley. And you got to wonder here, is the bunt on? As Gage can bunt. No outs on the board. Here's the pitch to Hensley with Akers at first. Runner goes. Foul ball down the third base line as the green light was on. As the hit and run was on, but it went foul down the third base line for strike number one. So Tanner Akers starting us off with a single as he hit one deep into the third base line and able to beat out the throw. And here's the 0-1 to Gage Hensley. That's outside. Thrown down to first, but Akers is able to get back. It's a count now 1-1, one one, so one ball, one strike on Gage Hensley. Here in the bottom of the fourth inning, Logan has a runner on at first. Throws over to first, and he gets a little dirty, but he's safe. One ball, one strike now. Gage Hensley at the plate for Logan High School. Here's the 1-1. Throws over to first again. That was closer, but able to get back. Count still 1-1. One and, one. and here comes the throw to Hensley. Hensley fouls it back. Making the count one and two as the hit and run was on again. One ball, two strikes on Gage Hensley, who walked and scored a run his last time up. The one, two, over to first. He's safe. Pitch, swings and misses, strike three. One out on the board. And now coming up to bat, McCormick Ilderton for Logan High School. With a runner at first, one out on the board. McCormick Ilderton, he delivers. Oh, nice play by the third baseman, he's safe. And that is a hit by McCormick Ilderton. Good stop by the third baseman. But either way, McCormick gets on with the hit. And runners are now at first and second. As Logan, with one out on the board, two runners on, down four to three, gets to the top of the lineup with Crew Blankenship. As here comes a mound visit for Wayne Central. You know, you could see Logan High School here progressing. As the more games they play, the more they're going to get more comfortable on hitting. And right now, here in the bottom of the fourth, Logan threatening here with one runner in scoring position a second with Tanner Akers as he reached on a hit. A 
And now Ilderton reached us on a hit. As I think they're going to make a pitching change for Wayne Central as the lefty's going to come in. For Wayne Central. It's Logan High School here with one out in the bottom of the fourth inning. They are threatening. Down four to three. We're back at the top of the lineup with one out on the board and two runners on. As they warm up the pitcher, we'll take a little mute session here and we'll be right back. All right, we're ready to start back here. Pitch and change comes in. We got a lefty coming in for, can't see his number yet. But either way, we got crew Blankenship coming up. Lefty on lefty here. With one out on the board, two runners on. Blankenship tried to get the bunt going. I don't, strike one in the books. So 0 and 1 on crew blankenship with one out. Two runners on. Bunt is missed. Now 0 and 2 as he's trying to lay down that bunt. As it rolls just foul. Now at the 0 2 count, probably got to give him the green light here. But either way, crew can hit it. He can bunt it as well, so either one could be on. That's low, 1 and 2. So one ball, two strikes. On crew Blankenship. Getting his first start for Logan High School today. Leading off today for Logan High School. The 1 2 inside, even in the count at 2 and 2. So two balls, two strikes. The breaking ball does not hit. Misses on the inside. And here comes the 2 2 pitch to crew. That's in the dirt. Full count now. So three balls and two strikes. One out on the board. Runners at first and second. Here's the full count pitch to crew. Inside walks him. Bases loaded. All right. They have that old saying. They say they got ducks on the pond. Well, we got wildcats on the pond right now. Bases are loaded with one out. Here in the bottom of the fourth, the senior Cole Blankenship coming up for Logan High School. Here's the first pitch to Cole. Swings and misses. Strike one. Logan down four to three, but threatening here in the bottom of the fourth. Fouled back. Count goes 0 and 2. Bases are loaded. Akers at third. Ilderton at first. Blankenship at first. You do have speed on the bases. That's in the dirt. No one advances. Counts one and two. Cole on the day is one for one. He has a double. He's been hit by a pitch and scored a run. I'd like to see him get another double right now. Here's the one, two. Swings and misses, strike three. So two outs now on the board with bases loaded. Coming up is Ivan Miller for Logan High School, who was 0 for 2 on the day. Hit a line drive to third base and grounded out to short. That's in the dirt, 1 and 0. So one ball, no strikes. Two outs, bottom of the fourth. Bases loaded. Ivan Miller at the plate for Logan High School. Here's the 1 0 pitch. Misses, nope. Does hit the outside corner for strike one, so it's one and one now. So one ball, one strike. 
on Ivan Miller. Here's the 1-1. One, one. That's high, 2-1. and one. high three and one got to wonder if the takes on here even though it's Miller to try to see if that run gets in if it's anything close got to swing at it though here's a three one walks him this game's tied Rob who has flirted with two home runs comes up now he's one for two on the day as Rob Ball has hit two missiles, but the wind has not been his friend. As that's high, 1-0, and so one ball, no strikes. Good eye by Rob Ball. As Rob steps up here with bases loaded still for Logan High School. The game is tied, 4-4. Four four. Swings and misses, making it 1-1. One one. one ball strike on Rob Ball here in the bottom of the fourth. Bases loaded. Here's the pitch. Outside. Two and one. Two balls. One strike. Bases loaded. Here's the pitch. That does hit the outside corner even in the count at two and two. All right. Here's the two, two, two. High, full count. All right, here we go. Bases are loaded. 3-2 count, two outs. Runners will be moving. And here's the pitch. Strike three looking. Hits the outside corner. But Logan able to get one run across the board to tie this game up. As we're going to the top of the fifth, we got a 4-4 ball game here at North Myrtle Beach High School between Logan High School and Wayne Central, New York. We are going to the top of the fifth. Coming up for Wayne Central is 5-6-7. and seven. Grasso, Lezik, and Clark will be coming up for Wayne Central. Chase Hatfield still on the mound for Logan High School. We will be right back. All right, we're ready to start the fifth inning here at North Myrtle Beach High School. Logan High School taking on Wayne Central, New York. Tie ball game here, 4-4. Four four. Stepping up to the plate is Mike Picasso, who's one of the two on the day with the single. A strikeout and a run scored. First pitch, swings and misses, strike one. Logan able to tie this game up. In the bottom of the fourth, it's four to four now. And here's the 0-1 pitch. Just misses outside, making it one and one. One ball, one strike. On Grasso, here's the one-one pitch from Hatfield. Misses outside, two and one. So two balls and one strike. 
beautiful day for baseball here at North Myrtle Beach. Wind blowing a little bit. Pretty smart. Don't want to have any kind of help for the heater. One strike on Grasso, the 5 0 hitter who's leading off here the fifth inning. One for two on the day. Here's a 3 1 pitch from Hatfield. Popped up, Wolf underneath it, calls it off for out number one. Nice job by Jace Wolf. He's come in and played really good at third. Three solid defensive plays by Jace Wolf as he's come in and got a 5 3 put out. Put a put out at third, and now a pop up. And that's with the wind blowing, that's not an easy catch. And we got one out on the board. So on a 3 1 count, we get out of it with not walking that runner. He puts it in play, Wolf puts him out. You got one out on the board. Here in the top part of the fifth inning. That's high and inside. The count's one and oh. One ball, no strikes. One out. Here's a pitch. Misses high, two and oh. As the wind really begins to pick up here on the field. Balls, no strikes. Here's the 2 0 pitch. Curveball. Nice pitch for strike number one. It's 2 and 1 on Logan Lezik. Lezik on the day has a walk and grounded out to third. And here's the 2 1. That hits the outside corner. Nice pitch, nice location, nice velocity. Count now two and two. This Hatfield's come back here to get two straight strikes. And here's the two two pitch upcoming from Chase Hatfield. That hits the inside corner for strike three looking. Nice pitch by Chase Hatfield for out number two. He was hitting that outside corner and he come right back on the inside corner and got him looking. Great pitch, great location. Two outs on the board and that brings up Kalen Clark who is 0 for 1 with a walk and a strikeout. And here's the first pitch to Clark. Ground ball, fielded toward Cole. Nice, Cole. Job, yeah! Good job, Cole. That was a tough ball to field. He got it. So I got a little excited there. We got three outs now. We're going to the bottom of the fifth. Tie ball game. Three up, three down again for Logan High School. On the 6-3 put out. Blankenship gets that third out. That was a tough, that was a tough play. As you could tell by the way I was announcing it. And I was like, yeah! getting a little excited. Gotta love it. Under God's beautiful creation on this beautiful day, playing the great game of baseball. Cannot beat it. Got friends and family here. Gotta love it. I want to give a shout out to my wife if you're watching. I love you dearly. We will be celebrating our 30th wedding anniversary this year. We've been together 33 years. I'm 48 years old. I've been with her since I was 15 years old. And we have two wonderful children. Vivian, our first, is the greatest photographer in the world. She's married to Seth, her husband. We have a granddaughter, and everybody knows Audrey. She's just adorable. 
And my son, Ethan, very super proud of him as he's over in the dugout right now. He's in his fourth year of being a coach for Logan High School. Altogether, Ethan has now been a part of Logan High School for eight years, player and coach. I've been a part of Logan High School pretty much in the PA announcement and everything for about nine. And now up to bat for Logan High School, Jace Wolf. Swings at strike one, so 0 1 count on Wolf. And that misses, counts even now 1 and 1. So one ball, one strike, no outs. As Wolf is leading us off here in the bottom of the fifth, he's hitting in the five hole spot. Now the count's 2 and 1. Need base runners. Base hit ball four, however you can get on. Or hit by a pitch. Gotta have runners. Here's the 2 1 pitch. The fly ball towards second. He calls for it for out number one. So on the pop up to second base, one out is on the board. That's going to bring up Chase Hatfield, who's 0 for 2 on the day. Struck out and flew out to center. Hatfield going to try to get up and help himself here a little bit. So he steps up to the plate with one out here in the bottom of the fifth. Ground ball foul, 0-1. So no balls and one strike on Chase Hatfield. Tanner Akers on deck for Logan High School. That's high. Making the count 1-1. Bottom of the fifth inning here, Logan High School and Wayne Central tied up at four apiece. Chase Hatfield now pitching at the plate. The 1-1 pitch misses low. So Hatfield's now ahead in the count, 2-1. and one. Beautiful day for Logan High School baseball here at North Myrtle Beach. Counts 2-1. and one. Here's the pitch. Misses outside. Count now 3-1. and one. And with one out on the board, you got to wonder if the take is on because we do need base runners any way possible. And it probably was. That's baseball. That's normal. Full count. Now going ready. Chase is ready. Here we go. Full count pitch. One out. Misses outside. Walks him. Ball gets by the catcher, but he will not advance past first. So Logan has the lead run on. With the walk, one out. Now Tanner Akers comes up, who has been hit by a pitch and singled, scored two runs. So Logan with a runner at first. First pitch to Akers, swings and misses, throws down to first. He's safe. So 0 and 1. So no balls, one strike. As you can see, Hatfield at first. No balls, one strike, one out. Runner at first. Bottom of the fifth inning. Here's pitch. Outside. That was a pitch out. I guess they were thinking maybe possibly that Hatfield was going to attempt to steal, but did not have the steal on. Now it counts one and one. Throws the first, gets by him. Here comes Hatfield. He is going to stay at second. So on the throw over, gets by the first baseman. Now with one out on the board, Chase Hatfield is in scoring position. One ball, one strike, one out. Here's the pitch. Misses outside, two and one. So two balls and one strike, one out. As you do have Hatfield right there at second. Here's the 2-1. That's low now. The count's 3-1 and one on Tanner Akers. So three balls, one strike, one out. Runner at second. Logan threatening here in the bottom part of the fifth. That's high. Walks him. All right, so we've got runners at first and second now. 
And coming up to the plate is Gage Hensley. Hensley is 0 for 1 with a walk, run scored, and a K. And here's the first pitch to Hensley. That hits the outside corner for strike one. So no balls and one strike on Hensley here with one out. In the bottom of the fifth, Logan has two runners on. Tie ball game. As that curveball breaks in there for 0-2. So no balls and two strikes. Throws to second, but he's back in time. It is Hatfield. Let him throw it again. Maybe he'll make an error. On an 0-2, you never throw that to second. Fouled it off to stay alive at 0-2. These are teams I coached. If you're 0-2, you're not throwing a second unless it's absolutely obvious. Fouls that one back to stay alive. Count still 0-2. No balls, two strikes, one out. Runners at first and second. Logan in a tie ball game, four to four with Wayne Central. Here's the pitch. He said he went. There's the strikeout. Hold on, did he go or not? We're gonna find out right here. I think he did go. So second outs on the board on the strikeout. Runners are safe at first and second. And McCormick Elderton comes up for Logan High School. First pitch, ball one. So Logan's got runners at first and second. You definitely have a runner in scoring position at second. There's a cut by Elderton. That's going to drop for a hit. Here comes Hatfield home. And he is safe. And on an RBI single by McCormick Yilderton, Logan High School has taken the lead. Nice job, Mac. Logan now with runners on the corners. So a two out RBI single by McCormick Yilderton gives Logan the lead five to four. So runners on the corners with two outs. And we got Crew Blankenship coming up for Logan High School back to the top of the lineup. <laughs> Crew is one for two on the day with a walk, a single, and a ground out. Two outs on the board, runners on the corners as they're worried about that runner at first base right now. But Logan able to take the lead on an RBI single by McCormick Yilderton. All right, the runner will score on the rundown, and McCormick is safe at second. You know that Logan High School Gertz play, and now Logan up six to four. With the runner at second now, as Hilderton does not get out in the rundown, and the run goes home. Elderton's going to third. Here's the throw, and he is stolen third. Nice job. Logan just played aggressive. I love it. So now Logan with the runner at third, two outs on the board. One ball, no strikes. Logan able to put two runs here in the bottom of the fifth inning to take a 6-4 lead. Crew Blankenship, he rips one. There's a nice hit by Crew. That's going to score one. So Crew Blankenship, two hits now on his first ever start. Logan now taking a 7-4 lead. As Cole Blankenship comes up now with a runner at first. The bunt is laid down. Here's the throw. And he is in time for the out. 
But either way, Logan puts three runs in the bottom of the fifth inning. We're going to the top of the sixth. Logan has battled back from a 4-1 deficit to take a 7-4 lead. What a great opportunity to thank Justin Brown Agency for their support. Logan able to put three runs on the board. Wow, what an exciting inning. As Logan able to take the lead there in the bottom of the fifth, going to the top of the sixth inning. Logan High School coming out to play here in the latter part of this game. We also want to thank Vivian Short Photography for her help and support. Greatest photographer in the world. Any of your photograph needs, call Vivian Short. They do video also. She's very, very talented. So proud of my kids. Me and Jody, we got two wonderful kids. And Vivian and Ethan. Vivian, a successful photographer. Ethan, a coach for Logan High School. He actually is even in college still. He's in college, and he's going to be in Cardiac Echo. As he is in his last year of college. And also coaching, giving back to the community. Can't beat that. Logan up 7-4. to four. As we get ready to begin the top of the sixth inning, Hatfield still on the mound for Logan High School. And coming up for Wayne Central is 8-9-1. Corey Jones coming up. He's over two with two strikeouts. First pitch. Fouled off. No balls, one strike on Jones. Here's the 0-1. Misses outside. Counts 1-1 one one now. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. 0-2. Oh or excuse me, 1-2. We're in the top part of the sixth inning. Logan has battled back from a 4-1 deficit to take a 7-4 lead. As that one's low, even in the count at 2-2. Two two. On RBI singles by McCormick Gilderton and Crew Blankenship. Here's the 2-2. Two two. That's in the dirt. Count goes full, 3-2. So three balls, two strikes, no outs here in the top part of the sixth. Logan is ahead seven to four. Here's the pitch. Got on the strike three, and on the drop strike three, Logan has one out on the board. Nice strikeout by Chase Hatfield. Know the rule there. First base is un unoccupied. You can throw. Yeah, you, you have the runner has the ability to run to first. That's the wind's blowing my chair over. Swing and a miss. Strike one. So no balls. One strike. Chase Hatfield on the mound. Nine hole hitter Aiden Twist. 0 for 2 on the day. Ooh, nice pitch. Hits the outside corner 0 and 2. Good location. Good velocity. Good movement. Nice. The 0 2. There's a rip for a hit. Ilderton will get underneath it. Back into second. So a one out single puts a runner at first. One out on the board, runner at first. 
Logan up 7-4 to four here in the top of the sixth inning. Back to the top of the lineup with Michael Prentice for Wayne Central, who is one for three on the day. He's reached base all three times, twice on an error. And he has a single and a run scored. Excuse me, two runs scored. So his first three at-bats, E4, single, E4. Probably, I remember that last play. Could have been E3. One of them. Either way, it's an error. So one out on the board, runner at first. Chase Hatfield on the mound for Logan High School. As we're ready to resume play again. One out, runner at first. Throws over. So he comes back safely to first on the throw over. Just misses. Count one and one. One ball, one strike, one out. The one one. Runner goes as Eldridge making a play for it, but lands foul. Count now one and two because the hit and run was on for Wayne Central, but ball lands foul as Hilderton made a good effort to try to get to it, but bounces over the fence foul. So one ball, two strikes. Here at the top of the six, runner on, one out. The leadoff hitter up to bat. For Wayne Central, Prentice. Here's the one-two. Gets by the catcher, sticks in the wall on the wild pitch. The runner advances to second, and the count now two and two. So two balls, two strikes, one out, top of the sixth. Wayne Central does have a runner now in scoring position. And here comes the 2-2 from Hatfield. Fouls it back, count stays 2-2. Two two. Crossing the two-hour mark here of the ball game. Two balls, two strikes, one down here at the top of the sixth. Runner on second. Here's the 2-2 pitch from Hatfield. Bounce back, stays alive, count stays two and two. Two balls, two strikes. One out. The 2 2 pitch. Curve ball. He waits on it, fouls it off, stays alive at 2 and 2. The 
Chase Hatfield on the mound for Logan High School. Prentice at the plate for Wayne Central. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Misses outside, 3-2. and two. Not a bad location. Never know, they might try to chase it. The count's full now with the runner at second. And one out on the board. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Great pitch by Chase Hatfield. Nice change up. Gets him swinging, was expecting a straight fastball, and he was able to get a nice change up in there for out number two. And that brings up Peter Treasure. He was one for three on the day. He flew out to left, a single, and struck out. As Kevin comes out to talk to Chase to see how he's doing. I know they had, I think, Bryant maybe in the bullpen. Not sure. But right now we got two outs on the board on a big strikeout by Chase Hatfield. <coughs> Logan was down 4-1 to one in this ball game and battled their way back. And in last inning, in the bottom of the fifth inning, Hatfield scored a run. He walked. Akers scored a run. He walked. But man, McCormick Gilderton and Crew Blankenship with RBI singles come up big to give Logan a 7 to 4 lead here in the top of the sixth inning now with two outs on the board. Logan wants to get out of here with this last out and get to the bottom of the inning and see if we can put some insurance runs on and then come home with a victory. Peter Treasure up to bat for Wayne Central. Hatfield still on the mound for Logan High School. Two outs on the board. Runner at second. Here comes the pitch from Hatfield. Fly ball, raw ball is underneath it for out number three. Logan has come back over the last few innings very well defensively. As we are going to the bottom of the sixth inning, Logan up seven to four here at North Myrtle Beach High School. Bottom of the six is coming up. Logan High School up seven to four. Coming up for Logan will be Ivan Miller, Rob Ball, and Jace Wolf. We're going to the bottom of the sixth inning. We got three, four, five coming up. We'll be right back.
All right, we're ready to start the bottom of the sixth inning. Ivan Miller coming up to the plate for Logan High School. And he looks at ball one. Miller on the day. A line drive to third, grounded out to short, and walked. That pitch is on the inside, misses 2-0. So two balls, no strikes on Ivan Miller. The 2-0. Count goes now 3-0. So three balls and no strikes. Hey, Y'all got another big win today, didn't you? 3-0 right. down here now? That's in there for strike one, three and one. Logan High School softball, Lady Wildcats down here, three and oh. As they're performing very well down here in Myrtle Beach. That's how it walks in. Logan gets the leadoff batter on with the walk, the second walk of the day by Ivan Miller. And that brings up Rob Ball for Logan High School. Rob is one for three on the day with a single, a fly out to left, and a strikeout. Been robbed twice, though. There's a shot, and that's going to go down for a hit right here in front of us. Miller stays at second. Man, it's hard to do camera work out here. I apologize. As Rob Ball gets up and smokes one. So Logan. With runners at first and second now. No outs on the board. Rob Ball absolutely rips one here into left field. I apologize about the camera work. I tried to get it over there. As he turned on that one quick and ripped it down the third baseline. Nice hit. Now coming up to bat for Logan High School's Jace Wolf. Got runners at first and second. Got to wonder if the, if the bunt's on here. Let's see what they do. Bunt is on. He misses it. Counts 0 and 1. No balls, one strike. As Jace gets some coaching from Kevin on how to pull back. Jace has played a fine game today. Lays the bunt down. Beautiful. Nice sacrifice bunt by Jace Wolf. As he advances the runners to second and third, that's how you do your job. One out on the board, but Logan has runners at second and third now thanks to the sacrifice bunt by Jace Wolf, who's played a really good game today. Crew Blankenship has played a really good game today. Logan playing some freshmen, and they're performing, and they're going to walk Chase Hatfield intentionally to actually load the bases. And that's going to bring up Tanner Akers who has scored three times today. Not really sure what that was all about. Why you're going to load the base. I guess they're looking for forces. And right there, Akers may make them pay for it. That's a loop over the head. There's a hit. One run will score. So Tanner comes up and makes him pay for walking him intentionally. And now Logan takes an 8-4 lead. Akers with an RBI single. And that's the second hit of the day for Tanner Akers. And now Gage Hensley comes up, or excuse me, is that Jackson or Gage? I can't see. I think it's Jackson McClung. I could be wrong. No, it's Gage. Their batting style is kind of similar. Is that's in there for strike one. So no balls, one strike on Gage Hensley, who's walked today. Turns on that one, makes the count 0-2. One out on the board. Logan's got bases loaded. Able to add another run here in the top, or excuse me, the bottom part of the sixth, took an 8 4 lead. Here's the 0 2 pitch to Hensley. Outside, 1 and 2. 
One ball, two strikes. Bottom of the six, one out. Logan was down four to one, is now battled back, now has an eight to four lead. And here's the one two pitch to Hensley. He swings and misses. So two outs now on the board. That's going to bring up McCormick Ilderton, who Ilderton, his last at bat, had a single, but I think they're going to put Jackson McClung in to pinch hit for Ilderton, who did have an RBI his last time up. But maybe trying to give McClung some a chance here at the plate, who's a solid hitter. The only reason he's not in the lineup today is I believe Kevin's experimenting with the lineup. As McClung comes in to, to pinch hit with bases loaded. That first pitch is low, ball one. Jackson McClung had two hits the day before yesterday. So he steps up to the plate here with bases loaded, 1-0 count. Two outs on the board. That's in the dirt. No runners advance. As the count now is 2-0. and oh. And believe me, I would not be surprised if they give Jackson McClung the green light on any pitch here. 2-0 pitch right here. And they did give it to him. 2-1. and one. Breaking ball gets underneath the bat and make it 2-1. and one. So two balls, one strike. Two outs in the bottom of the six. Bases loaded for Logan High School. Here's the pitch. It's in the dirt. Count now three and one. Now, if I'm Jackson McClung right here, I'm going to settle in really well because you know you got the green light with the amount of power that McClung has. Here's the 3-1 pitch with two outs and bases loaded. There's a rip. Right through the second baseman's hands into the outfield. One run will score. Two runs will score. Jackson McClung delivers again. Jackson McClung makes this game 10-4. to four. So McClung able to get a couple RBIs. As the ball gets through, and Logan now up 10-4 to four as they've added some insurance runs. We're back to the top of the lineup, and Crew Blankenship coming up. And Logan has runners on the corners at first and third. Blankenship at the plate. That's high on the pitch out, but he's back safely. Count 1-0. I oh. guess they was looking for a steal there. But one ball. No strikes. Two outs. Logan has runners on the corners. Crew Blankenship at the plate, who's had a solid, solid day for Logan High School. And he's ripping another one. As the first baseman makes a great play. As he hit a hard shot toward first, but fielded. I believe the first baseman thought the ball went through him, but he was able to get the glove where it was at. And on the ground ball to first, that's the third out, but we are going to the top of the seventh inning. Logan High School extends their lead 10-4, to four, as this could be it. We're three outs away from a victory here at North Myrtle Beach. As coming up four, Wayne Central is three, four, and five. And on the mound will be Hatfield again for Logan High School. He had a couple three and out innings, so his pitch count may not be that high. Hatfield came in relief for Luke Blankenship. Logan was down four to one. They have battled back here and taken a 10-4 lead. As we're in the top of the seventh, and this is it. Logan can get a victory here three outs away. As Logan High School has played a lot better today offensively. They've had some good defensive plays. Still got a few things got to tighten.
tighten up, but hey, we're still early in the year. We've got a lot of baseball left before we get to sectionals. So you got to believe Logan's going to be a really good team here by the time sectional ball comes. But Logan is so young. Only two seniors on the team. And Logan has come out today. Got down early four to one, but has battled back here. Now they're up 10 to four. And coming up for Wayne Central is Tyler Mudge, who has walked, reached on an error, an intentional walk, and scored a run. Here's the first pitch to Mudge. That's high, ball one. All right, let's go, Logan. Three outs away from victory here in the top of the seventh inning. The 1 0. Low and away. Counts 2 0. Here's the 2 0 pitch. There's a hit, it's gonna drop into center field. So a leadoff single by Mudge. Gives Wayne Central a base runner. No outs on the board. It's all right, let's turn two here, put two outs on the board. Coming up to bat now is Jared Dyer, who has struck out, walked, and hit a ground ball to third. Kevin is going to come make a mound visit. I believe there may be a pitching change. Possibly. We shall see. I think Cole Blankenship is going to come in to pitch. As Chase Hatfield has pitched a spectacular game in relief of Luke Blankenship. Four innings pitched, I believe, for Chase Hatfield. One, two, three, four, five, six strikeouts unofficially for Chase Hatfield as he come in and pitch very good. Cole Blankenship will come in to pitch for Logan High School here. Logan up 10 to four. No outs on the board. Wayne Central does have a runner at first. And as Cole Blanket ship warms up, we're going to take a break and we will be right back. All right, we're back, ready to resume play. Cole Blankenship on the mound for Logan. That's in there for ball one on Jared Dyer. Wayne Central has a runner at first. Logan up 10 to four. Initially, Logan was down four to one. There's a swing and a miss. Makes it count one and one. Cole Blankenship, one of the two seniors on the team. 
Hatfield the other. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Fly ball. McCormick is under it and catches it for out number one. Nice job, McCormick Ilderton. Nice job communicating out there as Ilderton calls him off. Ilderton was playing over. Made the right call. Logan's two outs away from victory now. Runner still at first, one out. Coming up is Michael Grasso. Fouls that one back. Count 0 and 1. Grasso on the day has a single RBI. Struck out looking and popped up to third. So he's one for three on the day. That ball's in the dirt as the breaking ball gets away from Cole, but no advancement of the runner. The count's one and one. So one ball, one strike, one out. Has Blankenship ready to deliver the 1 1 pitch? There's a looper that's going to fall in front of Crew. And he is safe at second as that was a hard ball to get to. Will go as a single in the books. And now Wayne Central has runners. At first and second with one out on the board. And that brings up Logan Lezik, who was 0 for 2 on the day. He's walked, grounded to third, and struck out. I'm sorry about the wrong one. First and second. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. That's fouled back for strike one. So no balls, one strike. Logan's got one out on the board, two outs away from victory. As long as we can hold him here. No balls, one strike, one out, looking for strikes. That's outside, one and one. Cold blanket ship on the mound for Logan High School. One ball, one strike, one out. Runners at first and second. Here's the pitch. Nice pitch. One and two. Nice velocity on that one. So one ball, two strikes. Cole's ahead in the count. Misses outside. Count now two and two. Two balls, two strikes. One out on the board. The 2-2. Two -two. Ground ball gets through for a hit. Ilderton able to field it to keep the runners from advancing beyond third. But now bases are loaded with one out on the board. That's all right. Kalen Clark, who is walked, struck out, and grounded a short. It was 0 for 2 on the day. Steps up to the plate with bases loaded. And one out. Here's the pitch. That hits the outside corner for strike one. It's a no balls and one strike. Bases loaded here in the top of the seventh. Cole Blankenship on the mound for Logan High School. 0 1 count. Here's the pitch. Nice pitch. 0 and 2. No balls, two strikes, one out. Bases loaded. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Great pitch by Cole Blankenship for out number two. Logan one out now away from victory. Here in the top part of the seventh, two outs on the board. Didn't mean to hit that. I apologize. We do love Vivian, though. Two outs on the board. Coming up to the plate, Corey Jones. 
It's 0 for 3 today. Foul ball. Back out of play over the dugout. Counts 0 and 1. Logan two strikes away. One out away from victory here at North Myrtle Beach. Bases are loaded with two outs on the board. Here's the 0-1 pitch. That's high. Makes it 1-1. One one. So one ball, one strike. Two outs. Bases are loaded. Logan one out away from victory. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Pop up toward. And that drops. Didn't really see what happened there. As I guess the three got mixed up a little bit. And that's going to allow two runs to score. But that's okay. Let's get this third out. After score now 10 to 6 with runners at first and second. Two outs on the board. That brings up Aiden Twist. There's a pop up. Caught by Cole for out number three. And a victory for Logan High School. Here at North Myrtle Beach, your final score. Logan High School 10, Wayne Central 6. As Logan gets a victory here at North Myrtle Beach High School as they beat Wayne Central New York. Great job by the Wildcats. Down 4-1, to one, battle back to get 10 runs. Logan High School getting better and better and better as they play. I want to thank everyone for coming out and watching Unlimited with Matt Carter, wherever you're at. I pray God blesses you and everything you do. If you are not saved, you don't know Jesus Christ, he's only a prayer away. He loves you. He has a plan for your life. If you're listening right now, I want you to know that Jesus Christ has a plan for your life. All you have to do is seek his forgiveness, receive that salvation, receive that grace, and let the power start working into you. The Holy Spirit will move you forward. I just want to share with you that Jesus Christ loves you. And I want to thank all of you for watching today. And again, I pray God just continues to bless you all. All right. Logan's got a victory. It's a good day at the beach. Logan wins. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.